Okay, this month's golf tip is on chipping and again like last month with the pitching this is fixes and cures and uh, first of all I'm going to demonstrate the correct motion. So I've got my feet together toes angled a little bit towards the target. The very important things here the left arm is perfectly straight this helps me control where the bottom of my arc is. If that arm is bent, the bottom of my arc is going to change every time and I'm going to either hit the ball fat or scuff it. And then the next important issue is I'm going to make sure that I keep my head perfectly still. Now, when I do my practice swing with chipping, as you've seen in previous tips, do the practice swing looking at where I want to land the ball. So I'm trying to get a feel in my subconscious here of exactly how hard. Now I'm chipping with a lob wedge here, so I'm hitting a soft little chip. Sometimes I'm going to be chipping with a more straight face club, but in this instance, I've got a lob wedge because I'm chipping to a flag that's fairly close. So again here, I'm going to put the circle around my head. I'm going to make sure that this left arm is straight at address. So this distance here will be constant and obviously the length of the shaft is constant. So if I keep my head perfectly still and my left arm perfectly straight, then it, I'm going to catch the ball right at the bottom of the arc. And I'm going to keep the club moving through. I'm not going to flip it. I'm going to keep that club moving at the same pace. The handle and the club head are going through at the same pace so that I finish with no breakdown and that would be the correct form for chipping. Here you can notice I've got my address position with my arms bent and I see a lot of students in the school chipping like this. When the arm is bent you're going to change where the bottom of your arc is and if you go back and when you come down you straighten your arm a little bit even if it's just a little bit, you're going to scuff behind the ball and you're going to hit that horrible little chili dip where the ball just goes in front of you. And this position here is all breaking down. I see this way too often in the chipping. Please remember to keep that left arm nice and straight. So there's the correct finish that you have a straight line through the left arm and the shaft. Another common melody here with the chipping is peaking or looking up too soon. What I call the anxiety factor. You're going to, you're worried about the chip, so as you're coming into the ball, your eyes start looking to where the, and your body raises up, and you can see by the trajectory, I caught that ball halfway up and it's going to scull it, and usually that's going to go, you know, screaming past the hole. So again here, make sure that no peaking, your head stays perfectly still, and even after I've hit the shot, my eyes are still looking down at the ground. Notice the other thing that's important here, if you look at this, you'll see how low my club head is to the ground when I'm finished. This club is way too high for a chip shot. You don't want to have that kind of follow through. You want your follow through to be low and not very long, about the same length as your backswing. And then the final uh, fault in chipping is getting too wristy and flipping. So you go back and then as you come in, the butt of the club stops, the handle stops and the wrist breaks down. And now you can see by the trajectory that I've added a lot of loft to that club and so I go underneath the ball and I get a high shot but that's going to come up way short of my target. So remember when you're chipping you want to make sure that the handle and the, the butt of the club keeps moving through. See how where the butt of the club is there? So I make sure that I keep the handle moving and not let the butt of the club stop and let the club head continue. So I'm swinging the handle and not the club head. So let's just review this one more time. With the correct chipping motion, you first want to do your practice swings looking at your landing spot. Don't look at the ground, don't look at the flag, 
you're trying to give your subconscious the information it needs on how hard to hit it so look at where you want to land the ball it's like a basketball player shooting hoops he's not going to be looking at his shoes when he's shooting now once I move to the ball I never look up again I trust my feel if I look up I'm opening the door for some doubt to creep into my subconscious I've got the feel I'm committed to the shot I just take the club back and execute and each time get into the habit of holding your follow-through and checking these positions is the handle of the club through have you got a nice straight line down your left arm and shaft is the club head still low to the ground if you can do these you're going to be a great chipper